Hey guys, Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And if you're new to the channel, really appreciate the support. Please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Smash that notification button to get the latest um, videos from Red Devil Studio. Um, and we, when we go on, we go on. So today we're going to basically talk about the reason why Manchester United didn't go or didn't sign for Paulo Dybala. And this is coming from Two Two Sports. Two Two Sports. To an Italian media um, outlet, um, and this is the, the this information is coming from Paolo Dybala's agent, um, Joe Gianton. He spoke to Tutu Sports. This is directly coming from the agent's mouth. Okay, so it's coming from his mouth, um, and what he basically says is, "I did speak to the English club, but the stories about the commission were not true. Um, there were simply issues between the two clubs." So basically, if you ever remember when we were covering Paolo Dybala in the summer. One of the stories that was coming on, on uh, or scoring around was that we didn't sign Paolo Dybala um, because um, he was demanding too much money, because Paolo Dybala, because Paolo Dybala's agent was demanding too much money, and it was a basically whole money thing. We're priced out, we and United didn't want to meet his weight wage demands, and that was um, and that was the reason why we didn't go for him. But the agent coming from the agent's mouth, um, because he later goes on to rubbish the whole idea that. He didn't go to Spurs um, because of, of, of Dybala's um, exorbitant wage demands. He rubbishes that. Um, but basically, what he's saying is that there were is simply issues between the two clubs. There were issues between Juve and United. So most of the time when the cover the story, the time was oppressed. The issue seemed to be it was the player and it was the player and the um, and the agent. But what the agent is saying is that, you know, and obviously he's an agent, so he's gonna he's gonna say things like this. So you still have to take a pinch of salt because we don't know Juventus or United's point of view. But he is saying that the issue was between United and Juventus. You know, were they not able to agree a fee with each other, weren't they able to do a swap deal? Did, to be honest, and, and, and the way that I see it, to be honest, I think, is that did Manchester United overvalue Lukaku? Um did Juventus maybe want a bit more money for Dybala? You know, who knows? But the reality is that, um, you know, from the agent's point of view, it wasn't on Dybala. Um, and what that tells me is that is that, once again, you know, United are not proactive enough. You know, we could have signed D uh, Dybala. We, we could have signed him, just like we could have, you know, a lot of our signings, you know, what what what's concerned me about what's essentially leaked to the press is that, um, the Bala Fernandez, all these people, suddenly it goes from we're in for them, we got a shot to, oh, you know, the player was interested, they're not involved, etc., etc. But the reality is that the players were interested. The players would have come, the players would have signed if, if we paid the money that we actually have to sign these players. Um, but the reality is that United were not proactive enough in this transfer, in this transfer window, or simply reactive. And now that we've lost to Kaku, to be honest, having a forward of Paolo Dybala's quality... Um, would have been great for Manchester United, someone who could link up um, with um, with a poor Pogba, and who's still twenty five. Um, I don't know. I just think it's 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 a shame to be honest that once again Manchester United um, were not proactive enough in going after a signing, knowing full well that Lukaku was going to leave at some point um, because um, there were issues. Um, Given United, the issues probably were um, not wanting to stump up the cash, or wanting to demand more money, um, or or just not having an interest, or not being more proactive enough, which is the summary of our transfer window. And as we've seen, looking at United in this season, we just seem to be very, very short now, up top, in midfield, and Paul Dybala. As much as, as much as I feel that at the beginning of the transfer window, I didn't think that he would fit Um um, and maybe he might have been asking too much money. To be honest, we 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 lack depth, and Paolo Dybala would have been the quality to enhance this depth. Um, thanks for listening, guys. This is a brief, short video, really. Um, you know, there's not really much much else. Um, but uh, yeah, United failing at transfers once again. Um, if you're new, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Really, really appreciate it. Follow us on Twitter um, at We United X. Um, there's a fantasy football league as well um, that, we, that we've got. Uh, the link's in the description, so please join that. The winner will get an official Manchester United top 
On top of that, guys, we've got a couple of live streams going on this, this week. We're going to be doing a, um, a preview, a live stream match preview for Manchester United versus Southampton. So we're going to be doing that this week. Um, on top of that, we are going to be doing a Europa League and Champions League watch along. Um, so stay tuned for that as well. Um, we're going to be pumping up more videos as, as well as, as the week goes on, just so we can keep on giving that good Manchester United fan content. Thanks for watching, guys, and cheers.